Hello everyone, Mr. Ong here again. In the second video of algebra, we are going to look at how to multiply and divide algebraic expression. Enjoy! Okay, thank you for coming in to watch the second video on algebra on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. And before we learn how to multiply, we're going to learn some basic introduction. So if I have 2 multiplied by 2, what you will get is 4 or you can simplify them as 2 to the power 2. What it actually means is that 2 means 2 to the power 1 and 2 here is also 2 to the power 1. And what you do is that the base is the same. So the 2 remain and you just need to add the power. So 1 plus 1 will give you 2 and that is how the powers work. So we do another example. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 also can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So how you get 3 is very simple. There are 3, 2, so the power is 1. So the base is the same, 2, 2 and 2. So the 2 remain. And you just add the power 1 plus 1 plus 1. That will give you 3. So that's why, that's how the power indices work. So similarly, if you have 2 squared times 2 cubed, it actually means 2 times 2. That is for the first 2 squared and the second 2 power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 so that's how you get 2 to the power 5 in simply three, six, you just can be 2 and 2 the same base and you just add 2 and 3 that will give you 5 that's simple isn't it cool. so instead of 2 and numbers in algebra, we represent numbers with letters of the alphabet. In this case, you have x squared times x cubed. What you do, the x remain. So x will still remain. And the next step, you just add 2 plus 3 and that will give you 5. So that is the basic of multiplication of algebraic expression. So the rule 1, please take note, is this rule. Okay, so if you have x power m x times x power n means that base is the same you just need to add the two powers and that will give you the answers okay so the the rules of multiplication of algebraic expression is following you need to multiply numbers with numbers and you multiply letters with the same letter when you do that you just need to add the power or the exponent we shall look at some examples now. The simple one. Okay, so if I have x squared times x4, so the base are the same. So what you do, x, and then you just add 2 plus 4, and that will give you 6. Simple. Next one. Okay, this is slightly different. So remember, the rule is that you need to add the numbers together. So in this case, 7 multiplied by 2 will give you 14. And there's only one x, there's no x here. So the answer is 14x. Next example, getting harder now. Okay, so what you do, you take 3 multiplied by 4, numbers with numbers, that will give you 12. There's 1a and there's 1b and that will be your answer. Okay, the hardest of the lot will look like that. So what you do, you multiply the numbers with numbers. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So that will give you 6 x there's no power it's actually x power one okay so x1 plus x4 is going to be x5 you don't multiply you add the power one and four give you five okay y is again that power one and one here so what do you reckon so y one plus one they give you a squared and z squared on its own so it remain as z squared We look at harder examples now. Now we're going to add some negative numbers in the equation. The same thing apply. So what you do, you multiply 2 with negative 6. Remember, numbers with numbers. So 2 times negative 6, simple, put in a calculator, is negative 12. x cubed and x squared, that will give you 3 plus 2 will give you x to the power of 5. Next example. Have a go. Minus 3 times minus 6. What do you think the answer is going to be? It's positive 6. A squared and A, that's 1 here. So 2 plus 1 will give you A cubed. B and B4, 1 plus 4 will give you B 
five. Simple, isn't it? Okay, now we shall do three uh, numbers. So we're going to be the same. So if there's no numbers here, you put a one. Okay, so you multiply numbers with number. Two times one times three, they'll give you six. And then x squared, x squared, x5, add them up. Two plus two plus five will give you x9. Then the y, there's no number in front, so it's one, one, and two. So you add one plus one plus two is y, four. And that's about it. And that's a z there. So we put a z at the end of the equation. Good. Now we shall look at the division. Division apply the same rule. Okay. You divide numbers with numbers. Just like what you have done with multiplication. But just like simpli simplifying a fraction. Divide letter with the same letter. Just like a multiplication. So if we have x5 over x squared. You just take x5 minus x, sorry, x5 minus 2, and the answer is x cubed. So we come up with rule number 2. If you have a division, okay, x, m, the base are the same, and you divide the power, you take away the power. This example, okay, so we shall look at this example, okay, so have a go. P6 over P squared, very simple, you just take 6 minus 2, P4. Or you want to do, multiply 6 times, 6 P, and the denominator is 2 P, you can actually cancel them out. P and P, use your calculator, P divided by P1, P divided by P another 1, and the answer is P4. Okay, next one. 24, again, number divided by number, put in your calculator, 24 divided by 6 is actually 4 over 1, or 4 will be fine. Then the power x4 divided by x, there's no power, is 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3, so 4x cubed. Okay, the next one is interesting. There's no number in front of x, so it's actually 1 over 7. If you put in a calculator, you cannot simplify, so the numbers remain 1 over 7. And then x4 divided by x squared is simple. x4 minus 2 is going to be squared. Good. Now we shall look at what happens if the denominator has a bigger power. So now, to make it simple, we're just going to multiply them. x squared is actually x times x. And x5 is x times x times x times 5 times. So what you do, if they are x and x, you divide any number by the same number, it becomes 1, so you can cancel them out. x and x, you can cancel them out. So technically, you have nothing on top, or 1, okay? And at the bottom, there are 3 x's, so x cubed. So that's how you do, okay? And now, we shall look at the harder example. The same thing, 2 divided by 8, you put in a calculator, or you should know this by now. 2 over 8 is the same as 1 over 4. x cubed and x. So you can minus 3, minus 1. They're going to be x squared on the top. Look at the bottom. y and y squared. So there are two y on one y on top and two y's at the bottom. So you're going to so y and y times y. So what you do, you cancel them out. y and y will cancel them out. So you have one y at the bottom. Okay, we shall do a close to a level 1 question and we shall see how you do. Okay, so now you have 3 over 9, you simplify them, use the calculator 1 over 3. You should know 3 over 9, the simplified version is 1 over 3. a squared and a, there are more a's on top, so 2 minus 1 is going to be a. b squared over b, so we've got b squared and b squared, you can cancel them out. So there's nothing left. And C squared and C4, there are more C's at the bottom. So C squared at the bottom. Okay, the last one is going to be interesting. Uh, this is closer to level 1. So this means 2x cubed y squared times 2x cubed y squared. You call it the square there. And you divide by x4, y8. So you need to expand the top part first. 
2 times 2, you multiply first, it's going to be 4. Cube and cube is going to be x6 because you add the power, squared and squared is y4. At the bottom, it's going to be x4, y8. And now you simplify, 4 over 1 still remains as 4 over 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 4 minus 8 is minus 4 or because the denominator is higher at the bottom. So the answer is y4 at the bottom. Hope you gain something from this tutorial and enjoy learning. Hi, hope you guys have enjoyed the video watching how to multiply and divide algebraic expression. Keep on practicing and you'll be good at algebra. Yes.